Go ahead. I'm sorry. You can unmute. I'm sorry. Can you hear me now? Yes. Are you able to see me or just audio? Just audio. Oh, okay. Thank you. Good evening, uh, Chair and Honorable Conservancy and Advisory Members. My name is Sean Rodian. I'm a resident of Thousand Oaks and speaking before you this evening on a letter sent by the Santa Monica Mountains Conservancy to the City of Thousand Oaks City Council dated May 18th, 2011. The subject matter uh, of this letter happens to be a piece of privately owned property that my family has owned for 43 years. Um, the letter was drafted by Deputy Director Paul Edelman and um, it came as a complete surprise to myself and the entire member of the city council as well as city staff. The city of Thousand Oaks, some of you may know, has been doing an 18 month general plan update, at which point the conservancy never chimed in um, on any of the parcels, probably over 2000 that were being considered to meet state housing mandates. Uh, as a result, the first city council meeting to discuss the updated land use map went before the council on May 18th. Several hours before the city council were to consider this vision document for the next 30 years, they received this unsolicited letter from Mr. Edelman. My question and my request this evening of this board is to investigate why. I sent a May 20th public request notice that I just received the final response by uh, Chief Staff Counsel Maloney indicating of the 12 requests that I made indicating who authorized the letter, was there any board meetings, minutes, or agendas where this item was discussed? His response was, none exist. So I'm trying to understand and ascertain that as a resident, as a property owner, why the Santa Monica Mountains Conservancy would go out of their way to issue a letter on a piece of private property, and I won't even get into the contents of the letter because those are extremely damaging and we'll save that for another discussion. But who authorized this letter? I noticed that in your current agenda, there is items where there's consideration um, and a resolution of the board to issue letters. In April, there were several items on the agenda for board consideration to issue letters. However, on May 10th, at your previous board meeting, this item was never discussed. It was never agendized. I am asking formally of this board to launch an investigation as to why Mr. Edelman wrote this letter and at whose request. I would have hoped to find that out through my public request notice, which was wholly insufficiently um, responded to, and that we will be taking up in a later time as well. Uh, but that is my request this evening of you. My contact information, I'm happy to share with the clerk of the board, or if anybody else has any questions regarding this matter. So, Mr. Mr. Moradian. Good evening, sir. Is me. I authorize it pursuant to the Public Resources Code as the department head. And if you want to sue me, here I am. Okay. I, pre I appreciate that, Mr. So I, I want to indicate to the board, this is not something that is a fly by night. I met with not you, maybe your father, maybe maybe the, the previous generation of Moradians who owned this. Who would that have been? Uh, Mr. Edmondson, I've been representing this property for the last 22 years. My family has owned it for 43 years. So what time frame are you referring to? Well, uh, we had a meeting, I believe it was with uh, Supervisor Parks. Um, it was, um, you know, within the last 10 years, whatever it is. Frankly, I don't have uh, my calendar in front of me, but we were discussing that. And uh, I want to be very bl blunt with you. The offer that you or your family put on the table was so egregiously beyond fair market value that I had to tell you that as a fiduciary of the state of California, I could not entertain the amount of money that you were demanding as a fiduciary. And now I am shocked that you would come back and attack a staff member of the Conservancy for 
doing what we're supposed to do, which is interface with the governmental affairs folks of Thousand Oaks and everybody else about something that has a vital uh, effect upon the Santa Monica Mountains and upon a wetland in the Santa Monica Mountains. So the last interface that I had with a Meridian was asking for an egregiously over market value amount of money for your property. And now you come back and attack a staff member. So don't attack him, attack me. You can find me, here I am. Mr. Edmondson, may I respond? Sure, it's up to the board chair. Yes, please do. Okay, thank you. First of all, um, I wasn't attempting to attack anyone. Your na name is not on this letter. This letter was drafted by Mr. Edelman, and I'm simply inquiring who authorized it. So I received that answer. Thank you. Secondly, this letter had nothing to do with the potential purchase of a piece of property that is not for sale. So I have no idea if you're even aware of what I'm referring to. I'm referring to a May 18th, 2021 letter drafted by the Conservancy, not sent to myself, not sent to any other member of my family, not even aware that this was coming. I got this from city council the night of the hearing. And it states that the Conservancy is taking an issue with the city of Thousand Oaks attempting to exercise its independent land use discretion to comply with state law. So what I'm having a hard time trying to understand is the city of Thousand Oaks is doing a general plan update to provide housing for its teachers, firefighters, and workforce. And out of nowhere, the Santa Monica Mountains Conservancy writes a letter and says, and I quote, the Conservancy urges the city not to upzone the subject property by a single unit. Solving housing needs on already protected open space would be a horrible mistake. Mr. Edmondson, with all due respect, this property is not protected open space. It's privately owned residential land in the city of Thousand Oaks, and it's not for sale. We're not talking about money here. We're talking about your agency writing a defamatory letter to the city of Thousand Oaks with no knowledge of the property owner. Why? Uh, Madam Chair, I don't want to engage in a colloquy. I, okay. don't, I, I think the board knows what the issues are. I don't think the board does, Mr. Edmondson. I see a lot of shocked faces. Well, um, sir, I think we're going to leave it at that, and I would suggest that you call um, the office so it could be discussed one-on-one -on -one at this point. Thank Madam you, Chair, who should I contact? You can, you can contact me. Okay. Thank you very I, much I'm for your time. To, I'm the head of the agency, and... Um, under the Public Resources Code, I'm the one you should talk to, and I will be very happy to take your call. Thank you, Mr. Adams. I appreciate your time this evening. Okay, thank you. Um, let's move on to approval of minutes. 